Welcome back to Messy Monday. I'm Kimberly McCleary and today we are going to be discovering the hidden colors in leaves. This is a great fun fall experiment that you can do as a demonstration with younger students or as a hands-on project with older students to help discover why do leaves change colors in the fall and colder climates. So you've probably wondered why do the leaves actually change colors in the fall, right? That has to do with the pigment in the leaves. This beautiful act of nature. There's tons of pigments in leaves. One of the pigments that you're probably already familiar with is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment that makes our plants green. It's very important in the photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is how plants make their own food by absorbing the energy from the sun. So although green is the color we associate with most of our plants throughout the season, there are other pigments inside of our plants as well. Carotenoids are responsible for yellow and orange within our leaves, and it's present in our leaves all year round. But the chlorophyll that's green mask the yellow and orange. And you can only see these colors as our season starts to end and go to winter and the trees start to go to sleep or become dormant and the other colors can shine through. Another color that shines through towards the end of the fall is called antisonin. Antisonin is not present in our trees all year round like carotenoids they are present as the summer comes to an end. And they're responsible for purple and red in our fall foliage. Isn't that exciting? So how do we actually find out and see these colors within our leaves? We can use a process called chromatography. Chromatography is all about finding separate mixtures. And in our case, we wanna find the separate pigments within our leaves. So our science experiment today is all about doing a little chromatography. And so what you're gonna need is leaves. Get as many different colored leaves as you can find because that's what's gonna make the experiment so much fun. You can see that I already gathered some leaves here and kind of got started, but I'll walk you through the process. So you're gonna need leaves. I gathered four different types of colored leaves. You're also going to need any pencils that you have around. If you have some coffee filters, you're gonna need rubbing alcohol, a little water, some tape, uh, one tablespoon measurement, and then of course, some scissors. So for this process, you're going to gather your leaves and you're going to I have this little clear jar here if you have any type of clear mason jars um, any type of jar or container that's clear uh, will do I have this small one here and what you do with your leaves is you gather again a good amount of leaves you can see all the leaves I have here for this kind of yellow orange color and then you're gonna to wanna to crunch up the leaves as small as you can. So you can, mine isn't as crunchy. So you can crunch them up. I'm just going to tear them apart and I'm going to put them here in my container. and just try to make it um, as small as you can. You can get it really small or kind of these um, medium sizes that I have here. And you just wanna put the whole leaf in. Right. So now, yeah, I got a pretty good amount of our leaves in. And once you do that, next you're going to add one tablespoon of water. 
Next, you're going to want to add two tablespoons of water right inside your container and then two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol. And so the mixture of water and rubbing alcohol is going to allow the colors to come out and it's gonna soak onto our coffee filter. You don't have to mix it up. It'll do that itself as it soaks. Next, you wanna prepare it, because what we're going to do is that you're gonna get it together to allow it to soak, and for your pencil, the goal is to get a strip of coffee filter that you're gonna tape onto the pencil so that it can sit into the water. So the best part of the coffee filter to use is usually the middle part. So I'm just going to cut out a strip So now I have my strip that I'm going to use. And the goal is to wrap it around your pencil and you want the piece of strip that you have to just barely touch the, the water, the mixture that's in here. So I'm going to roll this on and then you're gonna use your piece of tape to secure the coffee filter to the pencil. Again, remember you just want it to barely touch the mixture while it's actually sitting on top. All right, so mine's barely touching. I'm just gonna tape it. Right. And then that's it. So you're just supposed to let it sit overnight. Um, you can also do this early in the morning and then let it sit until probably dinner time. I did mine last night and I allowed them to sit overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna see the changes in colors. So I had this one, which were a lot of really dark reddish leaves. And in the morning, it came out looking like this. So you can really see how the pigment was really captured and changed and it really looks pretty orange to me. And that's what you're gonna wanna get as well. And this one was just pure green leaves. So all of that chlorophyll. And actually I was very surprised because it came out brown. I can kinda see some green at the bottom, but as it sat overnight, you can see this really like dark brown, orange color. And last but not least, I chose yellow leaves and they came out pretty yellow as they soaked overnight. And so that's the science experiment on discovering the hidden colors in leaves. I hope you can try this project out at home. It was a ton of fun just going out, gathering leaves, putting this all together and I'm gonna look forward to having this sit overnight so then I can discover what's the hidden color in these kind of reddish yellowish leaves. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a fun time discovering the hidden colors in leaves.